On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a handwriting text effect that you could put in your videos and intros. So let's get on and start the video. everybody welcome back to another video <laughs> as you can tell my hair has gotten sick of me and decided to run away after four months of quarantine but my hair is not the intent of this video today I'm here to talk about you know how to create handwritten text that you could put in your titles and old thirds intros such and it's really not much to it it's pretty straightforward the most important aspect of it is pretty much selecting the font that you want. Now, make sure to select a font that is handwritten. And I would leave a link to where I got my font, which is uh, dfont.com. And you could go onto that site and choose a scripted font. As well as Google Fonts, you can also find a lot of good fonts on Google Fonts as well, especially uh, they have a collection of uh, handwritten fonts on there as well that you could choose from. But anyway, after you install your font that you want, let's get on to the computer and start DaVinci. And I'll show you uh, how to um, animate handwritten uh, effect that you could put in your videos. Let's get right to it. All right, let's get the ball rolling. I already got DaVinci Resolve open and I imported uh, some stock footage of some fireworks going off. And now I'm going to create my uh, text effect by creating a new fusion composition. So in your media pool area, right click, go to new fusion composition. And we're going to make a 10 second uh, composition. Hit create. And then we just drag this onto the timeline, like so. And maybe about, uh, hold off about a second before we start it. And then we just shrink the background clip a little bit. It looks a little too long. And let's go into Fusion and start working. So select the clip. Click on the Fusion tab. Now we're in Fusion. Let's move the Mia out over here a little bit. And click on the text node on the toolbar over here. Move it around here and connect it to the Mia out. Now we're going to type in some text. Being this going to be uh, 4th of July this weekend, I'm going to type in Happy. July 4 and now we're going to select a text uh, like I said uh, want to pick a scripted text which I already give you some resources of where to download some of these texts um, Google fonts and dfont.com they have a uh, great collections of uh, scripted text you could download um let's see let's pick this one yeah, pretty simple i like it now let's change the size of it a little bit um let's see point one a little bigger point two that's good okay Hold down the shift and spacebar and type in mass. Select the mass paint node and add it. It's going to cover our text. No problem. We just need to uh, invert it. Go to mass thing on uh, your uh, uh, mass paint node. Invert it. 
Now go to um, controls and go into brush controls. We're going to take the softness all the way down. We don't want no softness at all. And we're going to make the brush uh, about 0 0.025. And um, let's change this to a single viewer and make this window larger so we could see what we're working with. We're going to trace it. Uh, we could use just a regular brush to trace it, but being my hands are not as sturdy uh, and you may not have steady hands, you could use the party line tool. So I'm going to use the party line. And you just create points you know uh, like so you could always use the, the anchor to kind of bend your line so recover the text try to take your um, time with this scroll back and then like how that line looks gonna do something like this All right, now that we're done, we could invert it back. And let's go to stroke control. And let's change it to right on. And let's go to the first, the beginning of the clip. Here we will put a keyframe. Then we go, actually we want the key frame to be a little further down. Let's go to frame 180 and have it right all the way out. So now if we play through, It will look something like that. Now we're going to add the particle trail to attach it to the path of the of how it was right out. So let's go to the text node and add a merge node. We're going to bring in a emitter and a renderer. We're going to connect the render to the foreground of the merge node. Now on the emitter, we're going to change the lifespan to 25. And we're going to give it a little velocity, not too much. Because uh, as the path moves through the letters, the momentum will give it uh, some movement. So you just give it a little bit of velocity. Also, let's uh, change the angle to 90. So I have the particles going upward. And let's give um, some uh, angle variance. 40, 40, 40 on all boards. Now let's go to style as let's change uh, the point to n-gon so it looks like little stars and let's change the size of these n-gons to 3 and enter make them fairly large and 
the b Let's see here. Yeah, that's not right. The angle is supposed to be 90, not 09. There we go. It's supposed to be going up the the particles. Let's go back into styles. Now let's uh, give it some cutter. Being it is the uh, 4th of July this coming weekend. Uh, red. Let's go to uh, cutter over life control. Let's select uh, red. Then white. Then blue. It will look like that. Red, white, and blue. All right. Um, let's uh, go up to the regions and let's change the regions to bitmap. And what we're going to feed into it is the copy of this mass paint with the uh, written path. We're going to copy it. You're gonna paste it. Now don't paste the instant. Paste a, a complete copy. Now input it into the emitter. Now we gotta go into this uh, mass paint. Go into modifier. Go down to stroke control, and we gotta. Remove all these keyframes for the right on. Now we're going to shut all the way down. We're going to go to the beginning of the clip. Move over one frame. Well, let's uh, make a keyframe first here. Go over one frame. As the, it's starting to write, we're going to start the end to increase it by a little bit by um, 0 0.015 and as it's emitting we're going to go back to frame 180 where it finished writing out you got to drag these two points go to the center of it click on it hold it and drag it to the end so it will emit particles from the beginning all the way to the end. Now also when it reaches the end, the particle is going to continue emitting. So what we need to do is we need to go back to frame 180, go to the emitter, go back to controls, and go down to lifespan. And we're going to go back a few frames before we reach the end of the write-off. We're going to make a keyframe here. And then as it goes to the end of the write-off, we're going to end the life of the particles so they would not be emitting anymore. So it would be like this. Now, we could go back onto the timeline and see what it looks like. Alright, now we are uh, back onto the timeline. I'm going to fade in the last second of the fusion clip so it would give it some more style. Let's go into fuse screen uh, control F. Uh, and play it through. Here's the firework starting and here's the right out. And happy 4th of July. <laughs> so anyway, if you have any questions, you know, leave in the comment below and I will get back with you. And if you enjoyed this little tutorial, you know, hit the like button. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorial vlogs, fun and challenges. As well as click on the notification bell to get notified when I release new videos. Also, I'm going to leave all my social media information over here, so you can follow me on any of those platforms. And as always, everybody, have a nice day, and stay safe, 
and uh, have a happy uh, fourth this coming weekend. Anyway, take care everybody. <laughs>